kind of settle down. Our first Vanderbilt player of the day is Anthony Orgy, and he will be ready for questions. Jacques, do you have something? Front row on your left. Uh, good morning, Jacques Doucet, WAP TV in Baton Rouge. Uh, just tell me about Nashville. It seems like it's the best city in the league and a um, great place to be, exciting place for a young person to be playing college football. Yeah, Nashville's great. Uh, great city, a bunch of great opportunities around there. Uh, just good, good, good city, good music, good food. It's just love living there. To your right on the second row. Amphrey, when you head into you know, the, this next season and you're looking ahead, just what would you guys consider uh, success for 2022? Uh, our goal this season is to play at the highest level as a team. So we didn't really do that uh, that much last year, so we're really focused on that. We feel like uh, when we do play as the highest level as a team, then success will come with winning and uh, uh, individual success as well. So that's our main focus. We'll go to your left on the back row. Dan Peck, ESPN 106.7. What can you tell us about some of your teammates on the defense this year uh, for Vanderbilt? Any, anybody really impressing you this offseason? Uh, yeah, several guys impressed me. Ethan Barr, Kane Patterson, they both impressed me coming in. Uh, Kane just coming in uh, from Clemson. Uh, he brings a, he's a real big, strong guy, can move well, uh, brings a new intensity, aggressiveness to the defense. Ethan, uh, just learning the game more and more, a smart player, uh, is re, uh, really improving in his movements, and as well as the uh, back end with Max Worship. He's really, uh, work, uh, he's really uh, getting better. Jalen Mahoney, Justin Harris. So. And as well as the D-line, they're all getting bigger, stronger, faster. So I'm excited to see them play. We'll go to your right front row here. Dick Cox from Lindy Sports and Cox Sports Broadcasting. SEC is a tough league to play in. What motivates you to play? And do you have any kind of routine that gets you jacked up to play on game day? Uh, my biggest motivation is football is football. So it's just really a game. So I just go out there and play. Like I don't try to make it. Uh, too serious than it actually is because when it's all said and done, it's a game. So I just want to go out there, have fun, just play the game I love. Growing up in Texas, when did Vanderbilt get on your football radar? Uh, it was really just we came up on a visit one day uh, and we just fell in love with me and my older brother. We just came here, I think it was my sophomore year. We just fell in love with it. Uh, haven't looked back since. We'll go to your right, the second row. You know, when, when you look at, at the schedule this year, you guys have a, have a trip to Hawaii. How, I guess, exciting is something like that to, to look forward to to start the year off? Yeah, it's exciting. Uh, I'm not a big vacation person, so, but uh, it's exciting to just travel with my team and go play football. That's really what I'm most excited about. A bunch of players are excited, like, oh, we can go to the beach to see dolphins, whatever. But uh, I'm excited to uh, play ball because it's really a business trip, so. And then, you know, playing at Vanderbilt, um, how tough is it being a student athlete there? You know, just with the, the level of academics you have to you keep up with as well. Uh, it's tough, but it's fun. Like the rumors are true. Uh, class is hard at Vanderbilt, so uh, it's a really a tough academic institution. But it's, uh, it's a great opportunity to play football and uh, get a great degree as well. To your left on the front row. Hi, Anthony. Uh, AP Stedham, WHAP, Foley, Alabama. Uh, Anthony, I wanted to ask you, you're, you're a Nigerian American. Is there a social media platform that college players, they speak to each other? You said what? Can Is there a, a social media platform that Nigerian American football players speak to each other? And what leads the Nigerian culture to have so many good football players? Uh, I think it's in our blood, to be honest. Uh, you see my family, I feel like we all play D1 football. Then uh, we just all talk on Instagram. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, just when you see a Nigerian, you really talk to Nigerian. I feel like it's just in our blood. And I feel like Igbo, Igbo people are the top. I'm Igbo, so I'm biased. So, uh, yeah. To your right, third row. Can you take me through the suit? What oh, are you working with here? You know, I got, I got, I'm wearing all black today. You know, I just got, um, I got it from Indochina. It's a little store in Nashville. Okay. My pin. From my fraternity, Omega Psi Five, Fifth District, Best District. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, and you got Commodore Black. Yeah, I got, I got to have Black. You know. Cool. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. To your left, back row. A couple of years ago, I met a, a Coach Hay, and I was really impressed with him. And I know, I know he's not your position coach, but but he is one of the coaches on the defense. And uh, what can you tell us about the energy 
uh, he brings uh, to the team and uh, and his antics on social media uh, oh, sometimes yeah. too. He's a funny dude. Like uh, he played at Vanderbilt, <clears throat> played several years in the NFL as well. Uh, so he's been in our shoes before. So he really relates to us, and he's he's a funny guy. I always say he's a kid at heart. We're talking about video games and stuff. So it's just fun having him around and uh, pick his brain because he's. Uh, played in our shoes and he's been to where we want to go to in the NFL. So it's just great having him around. Again, front row to your right. Other than your home stadium, do you have any other favorite stadiums that you like to go play in on the road? Uh, I like playing at Florida because their fans are like right behind us. They throw stuff at us. It's, it's kind of funny. So uh, that's pretty fun. Any other questions for Anthony? Good talker here. He's come a long way. Jacques, you're on the front row again to your left. So this SEC scheduling, you don't get to go play at LSU, right? I mean, that's another place where you'd love to maybe go have stuff thrown at you. <laughs> yeah, I've never played at LSU before, but uh, I guess I'd get an opportunity this year, but hopefully maybe the future. Okay, to your right, second row. What, um, what signs have you seen this offseason that gives you confidence you guys have taken another step and, and are ready for a better year than last year? Uh, it's in the mindset and people. You can really see in their eyes they're ready to go. The, everyone's been working hard, training hard, <clears throat> and just ready to play ball. So everyone uh, just has a different mindset, winning mindset instead now. So I feel like just seeing in everyone's eyes and the way they work, and you can see it physically. Like guys are getting bigger, stronger, faster. So it's just exciting to see. One more final question. Back row to your left. Uh, it was um, co coach. It was Coach Lee's first head coaching job when he was hired by Vanderbilt a couple of years ago. So you've gotten to see his progression as a head coach, his development as a head coach. What's different about him from when he first took the job to now, if, if anything? Uh, I think it's just details, more uh, just being, being more of a head coach, just being uh, around everyone. <clears throat> but he's still, in my opinion, one of the greatest linebacker minds in the country. So he's still real close to the defense. I'm real close with him. I go pick his brain, talk ball all the time teaching me little things uh, to help better my game. So it's just great having him around. And he also played at Vanderbilt as well. So it's just great having someone who's been in my shoes before. Anthony, thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.